Hey everybody, really excited to be showing you guys today a little bit of behind the scenes. Um, it's my first Patreon exclusive content of how I make my photos and uh, get the images that I do. And I wanna start doing this a little bit more to really showcase that the little things that go into taking a photograph and these product shots that you might not know or um, times of days to shoot or concepts that I have that I haven't been able to execute just yet and really show you how I got those photos. So as you saw in today's post, uh, I'm going to be using my hose and I have my camera set up on a tripod to get a consistent uh, location. And then I'm, all I'm doing is having this bottle on my glass patio table and you can see the background is just my patio where I actually shoot uh, probably 90% of the photos on my Instagram account. Um, but I love playing with elements that are a little bit unpredictable like water and really trying to get something unique. So I had a concept for this one and really wanted to see kind of how I could execute this. So the setup I have is you'll see my camera right here on a tripod. I have a remote set up and then I have the bottle not too far away. Now I use a 24 to 70 millimeter lens as you can see here and I have it always set to 70 millimeters and I shoot at f 2.8. Um, so all that means is the aperture is wide open. So it's letting the most amount of light that I can possibly let into the camera. Uh, photography is really only a few elements. It's uh, the amount of light you have in your surroundings. So I'm actually shooting pretty close to midday today, but it's a cloudy day. So that really gives me a nice diffused light. Uh, the second element is how much of that light I'm actually letting into my camera. And that would be your uh, f-stop. So you can see f2.8 and then the time that I'm letting that light into my camera. So you can see 500th of a second right there. Um, so it's a very short shutter speed and 500th of a second is gonna be enough to kind of stop motion. And so I can really um, get those water droplets stopped and just stop time with my, my photo. So that's really what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, there's some other things that I'll talk about in later videos like ISO, and that is how sensitive your camera or back in the day film was to light. So the more sensitive it is to light, the less light you actually need. But we'll, we'll do a whole video on that later. Uh, but for all intents and purposes for this photo, all you need to really know is shutter speed, the f-stop, and then the focal length, which I said is 70 millimeters. Um, and that's just how long this lens is going to be. So how long the light has to travel through the lens to hit the sensor in the back of the camera. Now, what does the f-stop do? Um, the f-stop is crucial for this kind of photo and really the style that I shoot at. Uh, the the f-stop and the focal length, I should say. Now, the f-stop is going to open up my aperture. Uh, so it's a little series of slides inside of my camera. And if you've seen inside of any camera, you've probably seen it. And basically that creates a hole. And the lower the number, so f2.8, the larger the hole the bigger the number, so like F8, F16, or F11, which you might use to shoot landscapes, um, that's gonna be the smaller the hole. Now, the smaller that hole is for the aperture, the more focused um, the light can be, which means the larger depth of field you're gonna have. So everything will be in focus at F11, whereas at F2.8, you have a very limited air, or a very narrow window of focus. So if I zoom in here, and the label is in focus. You can see those drops beautifully, but you can see the back part right there on the edge that's already starting to get out of focus. So my depth of field is somewhere in the area of probably um, an inch and a half to two inches. And that is like perfect for what I want. You can see the trees in the background are nice and blurry. Even the railing is getting blurry and it's really not that far behind. So that's kind of how I set up and the, the, this is a typical settings on my camera for when I shoot my photos. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how I got the photo. Um, I'm gonna shoot on continuous. So what that means is when I click my button, my camera is just gonna keep firing away. When I'm working with unpredictable elements like fire, water, smoke, um, things that are actually found in whiskey, I love working with those things because you really don't know what you're gonna get until you start taking the photo. Um, and you have to adjust and pivot as you go. I've already kind of done a couple test shots just to make sure there's some validity to what I'm doing. And you'll notice the label is getting a little bit wet, but um, that's perfectly okay. And the reason, and another reason you can um, shoot continuous is sometimes when you're working with these unpredictable elements, you might wanna combine 
um, a few different aspects from different photos. So I might like the background in one photo and I might like the label in another photo because it's not as covered. And so the tripod really helps. So in post, I can actually stitch some photos together to get the exact image I want. So let's start shooting. All right, so I have my, my remote. I have my camera uh, focusing. I'm holding down halfway on my remote which tells my camera, okay, start focusing, and I'm gonna start spraying the hose. So I'm gonna actually shoot from behind my camera and try to arc it a little bit to get like a really interesting effect. So let's do some shots. So I'm gonna start off to the side and get the right pressure. I'm not going at full blast. And then, you will notice I got some water on my camera this is okay, cameras are built with weather sealing. Um, I wouldn't obviously wanna spray the hose right at my camera, that would be really bad, um, but a little cup, a few drops of water on there isn't the end of the world. I'm really liking what we got here. I wanna try a couple other things, and one thing I'm gonna try is actually get this close to the lens to get some depth of field um, with the light hitting the water drops here as well as on the bottle and in the background. And hopefully that creates a cool effect, haven't tried it yet. So let's give that a shot. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, that looks cool. I can already tell. Oh yeah, that's gonna be cool. Which you already know what today's photos looks like. I don't yet. <laughs> I really wanna try one more thing and, um, and kind of just play around with it and um, shoot from different angles and then come down from the top really hard. And then uh, also I want to shoot from behind my camera, but I want to kind of jiggle. I want to try to get rid of some of those stripings that I'm getting in the, the water. So let's give that a shot. Yeah, these are looking really good. So I really like um, this shot right there. I, I think that, you know, no, this shot. Um, enough intensity of the water droplets. Uh, again, I might take another one of my photos and just bring in a little bit over here uh, just to kind of get that full. Working with these elements, it's really, really difficult to get um, everything perfect in one photo. But since I know that worked, we're actually gonna try it again and see if we can do it. One more time, because I liked what that did. pressed too hard on my water and completely blew everything out. <laughs> so we gotta try, oh, that's actually, that was a really good shot. Oh yeah, these aren't actually bad. The intensity though is really nice. Awesome, all right, I'm gonna try one more time. All right, whew. All right, so I'm sweating a little bit, but I think we got the shot. Now we're gonna go into post-production and I'm gonna show you a little bit of the editing process and um, how, I, how I edit this photo. So I'm gonna bring them into Lightroom on my computer. I'm gonna go through, sort, and see which ones I like the best. And then I'm going to edit those photos and possibly bring into Photoshop if I feel like I need to bring in any elements or clean anything up. Um, 